decades after a courageous action on the battlefield of Vietnam, a local man will be given one of the highest honors in the military next week. Joe Cordelion is now Chief Deputy City Attorney for San Diego, but long before that, he was a Marine. New at 5, 10 News reporter Steve Fiorina has the story of how Cordelion went above and beyond for his fellow Marines, but is just now being recognized. That Silver Star is being awarded 47 years after the fact. For Joe Cordelione, though, not a problem. He just feels blessed. This is Joe Cordelione back in 1967, Marine Corps private first class and soon to show his courage and dedication to duty. His platoon was ordered to take Hill 881 South near Quezon, not knowing the North Vietnamese Army would ambush them in the heavy jungle. We had 75% casualties. There were about 100 of us uh, who went up the hill. 27 were killed and 50 were wounded. A mortar round hit. He and three others tried to save their wounded, unconscious commander. And the very moment we started to pick him up, another mortar round landed almost at his head and it killed him. It killed the two men who had his uh, shoulders and it wounded me and the, the other Marine. BFC Cordelione took shrapnel to the face and neck, but he kept fighting, kept trying to help fellow Marines. I was afraid I was going to die. I believed I was going to die. Uh, but there was one thing that was greater than my fear of death, and it's something that every other Marine I've ever talked to who's been in combat, every one of us would rather die than let down the Marine next to us. Bullets flying, mortar shells exploding, it was a kill zone. Any movement, if you were standing up, you were going to get hit. Uh, uh, three different times that day, uh, when two of us would go out to, to recover someone, uh, the man next to me got a bullet in the head. For Courage Under Fire, Joe Cordelione will be presented a silver star years later because those who witnessed it finally had their voices heard. I'm honored that my friends, men who fought with me and saw me, uh, they thought it was exceptional and uh, what they think it means a great deal to me. His buddy from the same battle, Lance Corporal Ray Calhoun, a Silver Star recipient himself, understands. The hair just went up when you say it because, you know, it's kind of like a, a Semper Fi, a, a Marine Corps thing, no man left behind. A friendship forged in war, forever strong. Steve Fiorina, 10 News.